Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with yet another daily stock and options video. Just a quick reminder, tomorrow is the last day of trading this week for the stock market. We have a short week this week. So if you have weekly options, they expire tomorrow. And tomorrow is actually gonna be a full day of trading, unlike Christmas Eve, that was only a half day. So we have another full day of trading tomorrow to close out the week, and hopefully we'll close out the week on a green note. But today, I wanna to talk about another crypto stock, and this is gonna be Riot Blockchain. We took a look at the stock about a week ago. I made some price predictions, and we will do some updated technical analysis, but it looks like I was correct on my price predictions. As we do in every video, we'll take a look at the overall stock market very quickly. We'll see how Riot Blockchain traded today on Robinhood. We will look at one new article that actually is hot off the presses, just came out two hours ago on Riot, We'll do updated technical analysis. And as always, we will end the video looking at the option flow data to see what the big money investors were doing in terms of their options on Riot. And there were a bunch of them today. So let's get right into it. Looking at the heat map here, kind of a mixed bag again. It's not really a Santa Claus rally this week. I was expecting, or if you believe in the Santa Claus rally, that everything was just gonna be green for this last week of 2020, but it's been a mixed bag the past few days. I mean, big tech was actually down. Look at this, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Apple, all in the red. Semis had a nice rebound day today because they were pretty much red yesterday. AMD up 1.8%, Micron up 2.4%. Intel, Intel is just kind of doing the opposite of what the other stocks have been doing lately in the same sector. Visa, MasterCard were green. PayPal was kind of flat. We'll talk about PayPal very quickly later on in the video. Tesla was up big again. Tesla is knocking on the door of $700. Let me know below if you think Tesla will get the 700 by tomorrow, by the end of 2020. It was up 4.3% today, but let's get right into the video. Let's take a look at Riot Blockchain. So another big day on Riot today. Take a look at this. Up 9.3% today, was green all day long. I mean, at its peak was up almost 15% around 2 p.m. Eastern time. And even after hours, it's still climbing up another 2.2% on the day. On the week, Riot is up over 25%. I made my last Riot video just over a week ago. On the month, Riot is up 102%. For the past three months, up almost 550%. Just craziness. And over the past year, take a look at this. This is nonsense. 1345, 1345% 1, on the year. That's crazy. Let's take a quick look to see how juicy the premiums are if you wanted to run the wheel strategy for options on Riot. So right now, the at the money cash you could put, if you wanted to sell it, or I should just say the at the money put, you would collect $193 and you would have to put up $1,700 in collateral. Now keep in mind, this is a weekly option somewhat. It's actually for two weeks out because it expires January 8th and the return on risk would be a very juicy 11.4%. Not bad for a little over a week's worth of trading. So still juicy premiums. If you saw my other videos on Mara, Marathon Patent Group, and my earlier video on Riot, the juicy premiums have always been there all week so far on these cryptocurrency and blockchain tickers. Let's take a look at that news article that I talked about earlier in the video. So here's a news article from Investors Business Daily that just came out hot off the press, as you can see, 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time today, and it's titled, Bitcoin hits fresh high as 2020 gains blow away gold and stocks. So if you've been living under a rock, Bitcoin, the past few days, past week or so, has just been on a absolute tear. And with it, the other crypto stocks, the other blockchain stocks like Riot and Mara have been rising with it. I mean, take a look at this. Bitcoin briefly hit $28,579 early Wednesday morning, roughly quadrupling in value this year. In December alone, Bitcoin has jumped more than 40% setting up the world's largest cryptocurrency for its biggest monthly gain since 2019. The prior high was $28,352 set just this past Sunday after it gained over $4,700 over the holiday weekend. So 
cryptocurrency is up, I should say Bitcoin is up 460% from the illness low when it was below $5,000. In general, in the year 2020, Bitcoin is up 299%, which is far better than the NASDAQ's 42% and the S&P 500's 15% and gold's 24%. Let me know in the comments below because right now, our Discord server is just going crypto crazy right now. It's just crypto, crypto, crypto all day long in the server. And rightfully so, because people are making some big gains right now. But it's not just the true crypto stocks, the true blockchain, the mining stocks that are benefiting. Other stocks like Square and PayPal, some of these payment stocks that are also kind of dipping their toes in the crypto game, they're also going up a little bit because of this rise in Bitcoin. Let's take a look at the technical analysis chart to see if we can do some updated TA and make some predictions where Bitcoin and Riot blockchain may go tomorrow and the next coming trading week. So here's the trading view graph on Riot blockchain, ticker symbol RIOT or Riot. These are daily candles. I have the 21 day moving average in orange, the 50 day moving average in pink, the RSI here at the bottom and these volume bars. Now, if you missed my last video about a week ago, Right here on December 22nd, after this big green day with a lot of volume, I predicted that Riot was going to continue its uptrend. You can see by that pink arrow there. Now, it looks like I was correct. We did have two pullback days on the 23rd and the 24th. However, we continued to rise. We were up, like I said, another 9.3%. I mean, we hit an intraday high of just over $18. A week ago, our intraday high was a little shy of $16. So we're still on the up and up. Now, I did note that the RSI has been towards the overbought category. So that would suggest a little bit of a pullback. But these three green trading days from December 28th, 29th, and 30th today, look at these green volume candles. Two days ago and today, we had some very good volume, much more than I would say the average volume. So I am thinking that we are going to continue this run up on Riot and these crypto stocks. I'm just going to extend my prediction to keep going up, but I think at some point we may top out a little bit and there may be some profit taking. We may have a little bit of a pullback. We're trading a little bit too far away from the 21 and the 50 day moving averages. And like I said, the RSI is showing a little bit overbought. Let's see if we can draw an area of trend, maybe a trend line, kind of map out some of these gains here. I'm thinking maybe something along the lines of this. Looks like it seems to incorporate the bottoms of many of these candles. We had a little bit of a dip down below that trend line. But right now, again, we are trading pretty decently far above that trend line. So I'm waiting. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point in the short term future, we have a little bit of a pullback just to kind of get more in line with this area of trend, the moving averages, and kind of have the RSI come back closer to the midpoint. That's really it. I mean, I don't have much else to say about Riot. We can maybe extend this Fibonacci level out to the intraday highs from today. And that actually comes out nicely because the 23.6% Fibonacci level lines up perfectly with the top of this candle here back on December 22nd. And actually the bottom of this wick right here on December 28th. So I really like how we've updated this Fib levels right now. Now that tells us that I'm going to put an area of support right here like so at about $14.60. So if we do have a pullback, I think our next area of support will be about mid $14. We'll have to wait and see. So here's the trade UI option flow data on Riot. You can see 31 sweep orders came in today. And if we take a look at kind of the top sweepers right here in the middle of the graph, you can see that Riot right here overall had 22 call options and nine puts. So many more call options than puts on the day today by these big investors. If we scroll down, the green boxes represent call options that were bought. The red options represent put options that were bought. The one thing I will note is take a look at this green highlighted option here. This was the biggest one of the day for almost a million dollars, $950,000 worth of call options that were bought. Now, you may think initially that that's a very bullish trade, but actually it's not because take a look at the strike price. It's a $10 strike. So these are in the money call options that were bought. So this was probably a hedge position. These are monthlies. This option expires March 19th of 2021. So somebody bought a whole lot of in the money call options. 
So this is probably a hedge. Somebody might be expecting a pullback in the next one to three months. So don't get too excited about this big option flow order. But some of these other options towards the end of the day, look at this, 200,000, 200,000, 180,000. These were again in the money calls. Look, $10 strike, $10 strike, $10 strike. So a lot of money came in for the buying of in the money calls. So I think some of the big money, and these were January 2021, or let's here's a February 2021. These were hedge positions, in my opinion. Somebody is betting that we'll have a little bit of a pullback. Looks like on Riot. Let me know in the comments below if you have positions on Riot, if you have shares or options. Are you running the wheel strategy by selling cash grid puts or covered calls? Let me know what you think. Do you agree with my technical analysis and the article that we're very bullish right now in the short term on these crypto stocks? Do you have Bitcoin? Let me know. If you're not in our Discord server already, make sure you join. We're going to add a whole bunch of new features starting January 2021. It's a new year. We're going to give the Discord a facelift. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Reddit. I hope you end the week green and happy trading.